They did it, you guys! They banned Scrooge McDonald Sterling for life! Hooray, humanity! I've never been happier in my life. Except maybe that one time when I hugged a horse. Nah, this is better. Lifetime bans in sports are not common, but they do happen from time to time, and they are always well-deserved. Marge Schott was an old lady that owned the Cincinnati Reds. She was also known to be racist, sexist, homophobic, and anti-Semitic, and a straight-up witch. When an umpire died of a heart attack on the field, she said, snow this morning and now this, I feel cheated. You cold, Marge. She was finally banned from MLB for saying Adolf Hitler was, quote, good at the beginning, but he just went too far. Wow! Late Yankee owner George Steinbrenner was banned for life after paying a gambler $40,000 to dig up dirt on one of his players because the player was suing him. What a jerk! The lifetime ban only lasted three years. I guess baseball has more base than balls, if you know what I mean! Up top! Thanks! George was also suspended at one point for having a small role in the Watergate scandal. But don't worry everyone, Reagan pardoned him. Reagan! Billy Couture was banned from the NHL for life. He's the only person they've ever done that to. Why was he banned? Because in Game 4 of the 1927 Stanley Cup, he started a bench-clearing brawl. So, fights happen. It's hockey, eh? Maple syrup for, you know. True, but Billy beat the crap out of two referees. Hockey seems fun. Then there are the bands that everyone knows about. Lance Armstrong is banned from cycling because of drugs and because he's a jerk. Love you, Cheryl Crow. Tanya Harding is banned from figure skating because she hired someone to beat down on Nancy Kerrigan's leg. Love you, Oksana Bayul. And Shoeless Joe Jackson was banned from baseball for fixing the 1919 World Series. Love you, Tito Jackson. Jermaine. Jackson 5? I got nothing. Field of Dreams! Aw oh, man, I should have done a Field of Dreams joke. People will come, Ray. Luke, I am your father. Simba. Same guy. <laughs> to balance out all of this negative news, check out Shots of All with Jason Silva. He talks about technology, love, space, and human nature. That desire to probe the perimeters of possibility, to see the world in a grain of sand, that is what it means to be human. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and subscribe. Thanks!